Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. I'm the founder and director of the McDougall program. I see a lot of people with gallbladder disease. Let me tell you how common gallbladder disease is. About 30% of women in midlife have gallbladder disease and gallstones. I mean, it's almost the norm to have a problem with your gallbladder. Now, if you uh, look at these gallstones, what you find is they're made of cholesterol. Aha, the first hint that it might be a dietary problem. That's right, almost all gallstones are made of uh, cholesterol. Well, how do you get these uh, gallstones? Every doctor knows, every gastrointestinal specialist, every internist, every family practitioner, they know that super saturation of the bile with cholesterol causes gallstones. Supersaturation of the bile with cholesterol causes gallstone. Well, how do you supersaturate the bile? You see, the bile is uh, made in the liver. It uh, flows out of the liver and is stored in the gallbladder. How do you supersaturate that bile with cholesterol? Well, you eat cholesterol. Cholesterol is only found in animal products. So that makes it real simple to make a decision, doesn't it? To stay away from gallbladder disease. And if you have gallbladder disease, to, uh, to solve it by uh, changing your diet. So. You can prevent gallstones. As a matter of fact, gallstones uh, do not exist in populations of people, at least the common kind of gallstones we're talking about, made of cholesterol, don't exist in populations of people who avoid the rich Western diet, who instead eat a diet based on starches, vegetables, and fruits. Once you get gallstones, then you got another decision. Hopefully, they cause no symptoms. If they cause no symptoms, no pain, then the decision's easy. Just leave them alone. Don't operate on them. Just leave them there. All the research says that you're better off leaving asymptomatic gallstones alone as opposed to operating. Now, your surgeon may feel different, but his or her different feelings are not for your best interest. Let me just put it that way. So you just leave the gallstones alone. What if the gallstones start hurting you? What if you got pain in your gallbladder? Well, the time-honored treatment for gallbladder disease is a low-fat diet. That's right. You just get all those greasy foods, the vegetable oils, the fried chicken, the beef, the et cetera, cheese, out of your diet. And then in most cases, the gallbladder pain goes away. So you can solve the problem very simply in most cases. The last resort, you go in there, you let the surgeon go in and take the gallbladder out. And still, when you have the gallbladder removed, half the people are still suffering. So it's a last resort decision to go to the surgeon for your problem. Instead, Prevent gallstones. Prevent gallbladder disease by eating a good diet. If you have gallstones, leave them alone. And lastly, if they're bothering you, change your diet. Likely the troubles will go away. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you for listening.